David? Madam Chair, I was just thinking that um, when it comes to roads, to patch is a Band-Aid. And if you keep putting off the, the repair that needs to be done, the cost is going to go up tremendously. Mm -hmm. And I know that's outside of our realm. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, to me, Exeter Road is one of the most populated roads in Hampton. It's one of the oldest roads in Hampton. And the thought of just putting Band-Aids on it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I'm not, just so that, you know, I don't get myself in trouble with this and we're clear, I'm not questioning procedurally how they're going about doing. That's not part of what our relationship is with all of this. What I'm questioning is why we're spending money from DPW out of the budget to patch when we already voted for a patch that should have been initiated sure. before now. I believe the uh, issue is that we put out a contra uh, our bid to repave the existing road surface. That there were potholes that had developed in the interim as a consequence of the severe winter we had. You cannot repave over potholes. You have to fill them in first. So I believe that's the reason why DPW filled in those potholes in preparation of the repaving. I think well, it's just be, as simple as it that. It may be part of the question. Um, Does that make sense to you, Michael? I don't think the plant's open until May. Yeah, if they did a coal patch, though. Cut top plants mm -hmm. for resurface of the road. So, so they wouldn't. They had to repair it from the time the frost started to come out in March until into May, just just to keep what was there and not let the potholes get out of control, mm -hmm. which they did, and they've done that. But the, but the paving contract went out, I think, in April, and the proposals were back in May. And I thought that, that the contract was all set and it was ready to go. And I'm a little perplexed as to why it's still sitting. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I may comment. Uh, I, I, it may be that this is consolidation planning here. Because we talked about the corner of High Street and the one. <sighs> You know the flooding down there and, and the correcting of that, and then the repaving of that, perhaps, and also those three streets over on the north side of Hannaford in the back there. Ruth Belmont. Yeah, yeah, Ruth. Yeah, yeah. It could be a uh, if we consolidate two or three of these projects, you get economies of scale boom, boom, and savings. Yeah. That might be what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. I just I guess no, the question. That could be what's going on because the Warren article is explicit about yeah. Exeter yeah. Road. Right. So that money can only be spent on Exeter Road. No consolidation opportunities are there. No, no, I hear what Jerry's saying, Tim. He's saying if you put multiple projects together, they're funded separately. Yeah. But you may get a break on the Coming total under. thing by giving it to one. Yeah. And it's possible. I guess I don't want, we don't have to give this thing a life. Oh, the conjecture. question is, yeah. I want to make sure we're not spending money we didn't have to spend. And the pothole filling was not spending money we didn't no. have to spend. Mm -hmm. That's okay. clear. And so that's not an issue at all. Well, that the, was only, the only <coughs> question that appears is, when's it going to happen? And, and I believe yeah. it's going to be happening soon, based on what I, I've heard at the various select oh. meetings over time. Uh, they're trying to coordinate it so that the traffic implications are minimal. And as I recall, there was also some discussion about doing perhaps at night as well, but I'm not sure if that was final or not. The night, night stuff, I but think. But they're timing it with the seasonal traffic flow at the this high point. Side. <coughs> was the high street side? Off oh, of nighttime? Yeah. Okay. I think the exit road was, was regular. Yeah, it's going to be one side and then the other. Yeah, daytime work. I know the main complicating factor is timing it so that it has minimum impact on seasonal traffic flow. Right. But the contract's already been, you know, uh, both sides have agreed to the contract. <coughs>